Hello everybody, welcome, and uh, this is Talking Really on a Sunday afternoon, and I am back. Yes, the Wanderer has returned. <laughs> yes, it's the, currently the 3rd of November today, so I have been away for a, a month, and uh, some people have noticed, yes, I probably disappeared, and uh, never to return again, but I am here. I am back and of course making videos again this week and the first story that I saw obviously bear in mind where it comes from BBC News mind you of, uh, yeah well we won't mention what they are but the um, story that was out housing benefits to be frozen next year yeah now that's a bit of fear mongering because if you read the story <laughs> It's actually not as bad as they're trying to make out. Uh, so what they're referring to is private renters. Even so, it's a problem because it's going to make it very difficult for anybody that cannot get social housing to rent anywhere without huge cost uh, implications. So uh, that's the headline. Uh, let's have a look at the actual story, shall we? Housing benefit payments to be frozen next year. And if we scroll a little bit, uh, the amount of housing benefit that private renters can claim will be frozen again, again next year because it's already been frozen. Uh, it will not keep track of rent rises, sparking warnings that claimants whose rent goes up would see uh, shortfalls. In other words, they have to pay the difference. Housing benefit has not automatically reflected rent rises since 2013. The Conservatives froze it for seven of the last 12 years. Yeah, Charity Shelter said rising rents combined with a shortage of social housing was putting families at risk of homelessness. And of course, the uh, anti-poverty charity Joseph Roundtree Foundation, it meant the cap would drift further out of step with the cost of renting. Uh, and it's obviously referring to private renters. Uh, housing benefit is paid to low income households to cover all or part. And bear in mind that if you're in a, a two bedroom, uh, there's only one of you, you'll be paying what they call bedroom tax, which is um, penalising you for having two rooms, which I find very, very annoying. Uh, and of course, uh, the idea here is that it was originally to force you to go to a one bedroom. You don't really need a two bedroom, however. And of course, there aren't any one bedroom suitable. But there you go. That's another story. Uh, the, the LHA determines the maximum amount that can be claimed by people renting from a private landlord. And it's set by local rent officers in around 200 areas across the UK. Payments calculated by the size of the property. Um, and obviously this is the based on the household is entitled to family size and characteristics up to a maximum of four bedrooms but it is a uh, nationwide cap that limits claims in several parts of London as well they also count towards the overall benefit cap as well which has uh, been uh, since 2013 there's a four year freeze to LAJ rates between 2020 and 2024 left claimants unable to cover the rising costs um, and obviously see it sitting in the mice estimating that two-thirds experience a shortfall housing benefit rates used to be automatically linked to the cost of rents but this ended when the tory limited them in um, coalition 2012. under the tories the rates have been frozen in seven years since the uh, since then and it includes the latest freeze between 2020 
and took you in in four. Obviously, the handling benefit bill has uh, balloons, and of course, it's costing the Treasury over 30 billion a year. Um, 30 billion that's an interesting figure. It does remind me of the um, amount of money that they wasted, but that's just me. The government must unfreeze local housing allowance so that families can afford to keep their homes. Um, no, they don't have to do it, and they won't do it. So, yeah, that's the story. Right, there you go. That's the first one. And, of course, do, do remember the uh, live stream today at 4 p.m. Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping well. And, of course... I'll see you very soon. Hello, just a reminder that if you are worried about your data being sold or being used or abused, then there is a service that's called Incogni and go to their website to find out more. And also, if you do sign up, then you will be helping me by allowing me to get a small commission and also helping yourself to prevent yourself and your data and your information from being abused. So please do consider and have a look at the link below.